will ease your pain in somebody. And the Bible says the one who will pray it again is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, and amen, amen, somebody. And amen. believers who are carried away with false prophecy, a person can be genuinely seeking God and not called of God in that realm. And, and they can be carried away with your own heart, with your own desire. They can be carried away with a dream and have an interpretation of it and then come from God. The Bible says no prophecy. Whether it's a prophetic dream or vision, whether it's a prophetic word of wisdom or knowledge, but it is a prophecy of things to come. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. He said, no prophecy is given for private interpretation. For prophecy came not by the will of men. Amen, somebody. Or by the will of the flesh, but by the will of God. And of holy men. Come on, somebody. Holy men of old. Come on, somebody. Wrote. Amen, somebody. As they were led and Inspired, uh, amen, and visited uh, and moved by God, amen, somebody. In these times, amen, somebody, the Holy Ghost uh, moves uh, to bring prophecy. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. You don't understand. In the old, in the olden days, God had to prepare holy man. In this New Testament, God sent the Holy Ghost. What is that? The Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. At the amen, so that my Johnson, I baptized you with water. Come on, somebody. Many of you went down and received the water baptism, which was your step of obedience of the God and saying, Jesus. Then you say, Jesus, I surrender to you. I want to obey you. I want to serve you. Amen. I'm following the ordinance of water. The old man I am buried. And I'm believing for a new man to come forth. Listen to the operation of God, which is done by faith. And all Somebody. And Jesus told Nicodemus, that which is of the flesh is of the flesh, and that which is of the spirit is of the spirit. And it takes the Holy Ghost to bring the new man. That new man is not seen visibly. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. In other words, God is not coming to do a nose job on you. Not coming to do a nose job, an air job, an eye job, a mouth job. Let come into a backdrop. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He coming to do, amen, somebody, a transformation work, something on the inside, a transformation of our mind, of our heart, of our soul, of our being. Come on, somebody. He's coming to do a job on the inside of us. Come on, sir. A job in our home and our family. A job in our lives. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Glory to Jesus. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Amen, somebody. Could the Holy Ghost come to do a job? Amen. So John said, I baptize you in water. But Jesus shall baptize us with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Come on, somebody. And what Jesus did after he was baptized and trust, the Bible that he went into the wilderness and we got to follow his example. Amen, somebody. Come on, after we have been baptized, we got to begin to seek him first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto us. Jesus went out into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights and fasted and prayed and seek the Lord. that exact order. Your ministry might not be in that exact order. Your life might not be in that exact order. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. But the Bible said when he, he overcame the gates 
careful, amen, somebody. Amen. Not by his fast. Then you fast three days and you come on and say, I overcome the devil day. Fast three days and you feel holy. Come on, somebody. So when you have accomplished your fast, you feel good, you have wrong with that three days. Amen. You feel good. When you fast, you feel clean, you feel savage, you fast. But that doesn't make you overcome the devil. Amen. Come on, Jesus overcame the devil by the word of God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How did you overcome the devil? Amen. The word of God. Amen. And you can be coming in a ministry where the power of God is present. But if you don't have the word, you, you will not be able to maintain and keep the power. Amen. You will not be able to maintain and keep the anointing. Amen. Come on, Samba. Amen. Come on, Samba. Amen. Can you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Come on, Samba. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible said, and after he was tempted of the devil, he came out in the power of the Spirit. Amen. How he came out? In the power of the Spirit. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Uh, say it's as we are in a season. Yes. We are in the season of Pentecost. Take it as we are in the season of Pentecost. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 We are in what? Season of Pentecost. So we are in what the third day of Pentecost. Come on, somebody. Pentecost lasts 50 days. 50 days. Come on, somebody. So we are in a season, amen, of an open heaven. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You know, a Bible study class, somebody, they ask me if, if, if there are season when demon activity is most active. Yes. The Bible said to everything on the earth, there is a time and a season. And the same thing as a season where the heaven is also most active. Mm -hmm. There's a season where demon spirits are most active. And there's a season where the Holy Ghost becomes more active. Mm -hmm. Come on, Sapa. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on! Come on! During the dry season, we had rain. But we're not in the rainy season, right? But when the rainy season comes, Amen! Storms, hurricanes, floods are, are, are more active than in the dry season. It doesn't mean because we have dry season, we won't experience rain. Come on, somebody. Amen. So it doesn't mean, amen, somebody. All to the year, we will not experience the Holy Ghost, but there are season in the spirit realm where you have a greater outpouring, a greater anointing, a greater move of God, a greater word from God. You receive a greater peace, a greater strength. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, and it's a season to seek God for the increase. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's a season to seek God for restoration. For things that you have lost. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. It's a season to, to gain a greater understanding and knowledge of God's word. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Come on. The name Jesus was present here today in the flesh as he is in the spirit and he healed you and he told you go and sin no more Amen. and all the sins you know in your life that when you check for adultery I'm living in adultery I'm coming for the people and I'm a smoker I'm not a drinker come on somebody come on somebody amen somebody then you will not know what sin he is speaking about in your life the word of God is that mirror that reveals the sin in your life the Bible teaching us about a rich young ruler, a just man, come on somebody, who came before Jesus and he had great possessions, come on somebody.
somebody. And he had an action. He said, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And you can be a, a good person based on your morals and your standards and based on society and based on the teachings. Amen. And be a Lord. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. But before the eyes of God, all that sin and come short of the glory of God. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. And the only way to be saved and the only way to find salvation and eternal life is through Jesus. He said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No one can go under the Father but by me. You can be a good Muslim, a good Hindu, a good Baptist. Come on, somebody. A good individual. Amen, somebody. By man's standard and by man's understanding. But that doesn't save us. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. What saves us is our belief in the works of the Son of God and our understanding of His Word. What saves us is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God on the salvation to them that will believe. Amen, somebody. Glory. Am I speaking to somebody? The word gospel means good news. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Praise Him. Amen. Amen. And I just want to read this to, to clear up the, the three lines of, of darkness. Come on, somebody. Amen. No prophecy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Cannot go against the doctrines of God's word. The teachings and the scripture. Amen. Doesn't matter who you come from, doesn't matter how sincere it was in songs, they can be sincerely and genuinely wrong. Amen. And so it is today, many people are deceived because they don't know the word of God. Amen. The scripture says, study to show yourself a proof how many people study the word of God. I'm not just talking about reading a scripture. I'm talking about studying the word. I'm talking about getting a subject, studying that subject. Amen. Amen. Making time to study the that subject. And amen, somebody. And the Bible says that the letter kill it. But the Spirit of God give it life. You and I are made able to survive, to live, to overcome, to stand against the enemy. Come on somebody, we are made able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit, for the letter kill it. But it is the spirit of God that gives life. The Bible speaks about our generation. That we are always learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. We can talk about healing, but there is no healing. You can talk about the business, but there, there, you have no business. You can talk about making money, and you cannot make any. Are you understand what I'm saying? You can talk about the dream, and never accomplish it. You're always learning something, but you're never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. So I can talk about Jesus all day long, all night long. I can sound very biblical, very spiritual, very scholarly. Come on, somebody. But the truth, amen, somebody, comes where the power of Christ is, where the life of Christ is, where the spirit of Christ is, where the Holy Ghost is, 
Come on, somebody. Amen. I speak in the somebody. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Let's just to the Matthew 24 quickly. We are have time to address that on Saturday and somebody. Amen. On Friday, sorry. Amen. But every prophecy. Come on, somebody. Come on. Sometimes you look on, on, on television and you see people doing accurate prophecy, great signs and wonders. And the first thing I look for is not the miracles, it's not the healing and the prophecy. You see them do it. I want to hear what they are preaching. Amen. 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 That's, that's, that's the word of God is the greatest authority. The word of God is the judge of all things. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I, I want even somebody. You, you need to hear what you are preaching and go into the scripture and see if it lines up with the word of God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. To know if that man is operating by the prince of devils yeah. or he's operating by the power of God. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So uh, let's just read from verses 21. Matthew 24, verse 21. Amen, somebody. Amen. For there shall be great tribulations such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no 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 ever shall be come on somebody yeah. so the tribulation the great tribulation that is to come come on somebody yeah. the scripture is saying there will not be anything like it after or before yeah. come on somebody yeah. come on somebody yeah. come on yeah. so that's why COVID-19 cannot be the great tribulation yeah. Listen again. Come on, somebody. All the conspiracies you have out there, go to your Bible. For amen, somebody. Verse twenty-one. For then shall for then shall be great tribulation. Come on, such as was not since. The beginning. So if we go back to the beginning of creation, that now man has faced greater tribulation than what we are facing now. When you go back and you study history, medieval times, there have been greater tribulation. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. On the earth than what is now. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you look at the great Spanish flu. Come on, somebody. Amen. We didn't have great signs that we have today. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. They invent the vaccine so quickly. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Yes, I'll be seeing the signs. Yes, I'll be seeing a world order coming into place. Yes, we are seeing the signs, but the sign is not. Amen, somebody. COVID-19. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. When I say the sign is not COVID-19, I'm speaking about of the Great Tribulation. Many people are questioning, hey, are we have, have the Great Tribulation begun? No. When the Great Tribulation begins, the Bible said it has never been seen before. It has what? It has never been seen before. Come on, somebody. Come on. For there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning. It has never been seen before. What is to come? Is COVID 19 a warning? Yes. Is what is happening in the world a warning? Yes. But what is coming has never been seen 
before. The sorrow, the pain, the anguish, the death toll, the war, the battle has never been seen before. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Come on, the scripture is saying so. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. The what? And so that's what makes. Amen. Social media so dangerous to believers. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Because every information upon the internet is meant for the day. Without you having the source to verify if it is true or not. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Tell me to God that we have the Holy Ghost yeah. to verify. Yeah. And the Word of God to verify. When Amen. prophets arise, Amen. when teachers arise, sure. Amen, somebody, Amen. that we can turn to the word of God. Come on, somebody, Amen. that made word that gave profit from us. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. What does it what does it say? For then shall be great revelation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. Come on. No, no, no ever shall be. So it will have nothing like it upon the earth ever again. What is to come will never be seen again. And what is to come there will be nothing to identify it with. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. So when preachers are saying, well, we are in the, we the great tribulation have started. So many preachers come out and preach well, the tribulation have started, and now some preachers say, well, we, the, the court is away to be any time now. Because the tribulation start. Amen. So the court is awake can be any time now. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. But the scripture says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh. Be saved. But for the elect sake, those days shall be shortened. So we have a sign of the shortening of days. When we see the days are shortening. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But we also understand that the tribulation has not begun based on what is said about the Tribulation. So God is giving us signs. But are we in it? No. Are we close? Yes. I want somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lord, Believe it not. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. For then shall arise false crisis. Let's understand what the word Christ means. The word Christ means what? The Come on, somebody. The anointing of the anointed one. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 And the Hebrew it means Messiah. Amen. The Christ that is to come is also known as the Messiah. Amen. The Savior. Amen. The anointed one. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. A Savior can come in any form and any fashion. It can come to science. It can come to presidents, to kings, to queens.
me. It can come to pastors or prophets. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You better understand that Satan is a deceiver. See, he would not come and admit that he is in Christ. But he will come as a savior. He will come as one amen that will say and preach peace and preach love and preach unity and preach oneness and condemn the gospel that rejects sin and condemns lesbianism and condemns gays and condemns the abominations that is in the world. Come on, somebody. Come on, that is the gospel. It condemns sin. For the Antichrist, come on, the Savior he will speak to, to man's heart, to man's flesh. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. For there shall arise many false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So how would I know who is a false prophet by the word that they preach? Not because of miracle signs and wonders. Jesus told them, do not rejoice because you see the sick here. Do not rejoice because you see the blind see and the deaf hear and the lame walk and the pain and tie that the church and us all have been twice about. They rejoice only when they can see miracles, when they can see demons subjected, when they see the sick here, when they see amen money coming here, when they see blessing over flowing. Come on, somebody. When promotion coming, Jesus said, do not rejoice over these things, but rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Then you have an assurance. You are saved. You have salvation. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. That you are in the will of God. That you are in the promise of God. That you are in the call of God. Come on, somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. But there shall arise false crisis, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in as much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very dead. Come on, somebody. The what? The very dead. Behold, I have told you. Come on, somebody. Behold, I have told you before. For, for wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning coming out of the east and shine unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. In other words, in a blink of an eye, he will appear. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. They would not know the time or the hour when he will appear. And they see him coming in the tomb, he's not there. And they see he's not there. And they see him at the mountain top, he's not there. But as the lightning shining, as the striking from the east, to the west, so shall it be in a blink of an eye, he shall appear. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. For where the carcass is, Tell you where the carcass is. In other words, those that are crucifying the flesh. Those that are looking.
evil, show a coated gospel and show a coated message. And that's inspirational and charismatic preachers, but they are looking for the truth. They are looking for holiness. They are looking for godliness. They are looking for righteousness. They are looking for the truth. They are looking at even somebody to be purified, to be washed in the blood. But we shall overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. We are seeking to live a compromise Christian life, a sinful life. Come on, somebody. But they, but they have crucified the old man. They have buried that old carcass. They laid it up. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Amen. Isaiah said, they are away to from the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Come on, somebody. Amen. They will do what? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And where the carcass is, there will the eagles gather. The eagles gather. The new, those that have the new body will be gathered. The heavenly body. Those that have put on Christ. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And you have thrown off the carcass. Come on, somebody. Amen. Verses, amen, somebody. Hallelujah. 29. And immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the so when will the sun be after? You know what the believers talk about this thing and preach this thing and want to know what you think about this prophecy. I have nothing to think about it. The word of God thinking to me. The word of God telling me what, what they are saying. After the tribulation of those days. What tribulation? Come on. Since the beginning of the world, there was nothing like it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. For there shall be sorrow as there never was. Amen. And there will not be anything like unto it. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Glory. What God is doing right now is warning the world to repent. And to tell warning of our Christian brothers and sisters, those who got lukewarm and cold, those are even somebody who have lost their first love, lost their joy, who refuse to stand for righteousness, for holiness, come on somebody, who refuse to come out of a monks, even them and be a separated people out of him. Who not afraid to offend people for the sake of the gospel? They're not afraid to lose people for the sake of the gospel. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, am I speaking to somebody tonight? Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Verses 29 said immediately. After the tribulation of those days shall the sun. Shall the sun. So no sun can be the after now. Amen. 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 The Bible said after the tribulation of those days. The sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give his light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Then to the pier, then to the pier, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he 
each other send his angels with their great sound of the trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Come on, somebody. So, if the scripture is so plain that it's telling me after the tribulation of those days, come on, somebody. God will gather his elects. Where are they? Where is the elects? Where are the elects? Come on, somebody. Where are the elects? Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Amen. So the sign, let's look at the sign of the coming of the Son of Man first. Amen. What is the sign of the coming? What is the sign of the coming? Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. The great tribulation first. At, at, at the end of the great tribulation, what happened? False Christ, false prophets. What will happen? False Christ and false prophets happen. Verses 30, what will happen? Then John appeared. The sign of the Son of Man where? In heaven. What was the sign? Verses 29. Immediately, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give a light and the stars shall fall from the heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken then shall appear the sign of the son of man in the heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth move. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. So the shaking of the heaven is a sign for a sign. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. So when I see the powers of heaven shaken, and I see the sun go out, Amen. I see the moon refuse to give its light, Amen. I see the stars of heaven fall, I see the powers of heaven shake up. That is a sign for a sign. So I'm looking for a next sign now. That the, the trees that are about to appear. Amen. A sign will be given to the elect that Jesus is going to appear. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He is coming. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. And, and the Bible said that sign will cause all the tribes of the earth. Look how hard the heart of man is. They move in the midst of the tribulation. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. The way they see the world itself is now shaken. Come on. The heavens is now shaken. The sun, the stars, the moon is now shaken. All oh, the tribes of the earth begin to move. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together He's elect. He's elect. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. So where, 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 the, where is the elect? Have they been caught up before the tribulation? Were they in the tribulation? Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Or were they present after the tribulation? But the Bible said after the tribulation, come on somebody, on those days, he will shake the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, 
Come on, somebody. All oh, the cattle in earth are born. So if he's sending his angels, it means that, that the elect is not in heaven. Amen. Because if I'm in heaven, he would have to send his angels for me. Amen. He said, I will send my angels. Amen. And I will gather them. Where are they? Where are they? Amen. Where are they? The Bible is not telling you where they are. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Let's read where we are. And he shall send his angel of a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather his elect from the from the four winds. From one end of the heaven to the other. The Lord is powerful of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, he knows that summer is now. So likewise, when he shall see all these things, know that it is name, even at the door. For verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So he is speaking about a specific generation. Mm -hmm. And he has given us the he is giving us the signs of which generation it is. Mm -hmm. Come on somebody. Mm -hmm. Come on somebody. Mm -hmm. He has given us the signs of what? Which generation it is. Mm -hmm. Now Peter said in the last days scoffers and mockers shall come. For they shall say you've been preaching about Jesus coming for hundreds of years and he has not come. And they shall mock and they shall laugh and they shall scorn you. Come on somebody. Until that day come. So there's a sign for every generation. And we've got to know if the signs that we are seeing in this generation is for telling of the great tribulation. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. For he says, of very I see unto you that this generation shall not pass. Till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall not pass away. Amen, somebody. But heaven and earth shall not pass away. But my word shall not pass. Amen, somebody. But of the day and the hour. No, no man. So when people say they give day and hour to prophecy. Amen. Say God say. No matter what miracle sign and wonder they do it. No matter if they're calling your name or your account number. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. No to run. Know that that is a false prophet. For he said what? But of that day and that hour, know it, no man. You see, the problem with some pastors too, and that men of God, they, they want to be so profound, so spiritual, that they want to give people answers they do not have. But the Bible said, but of the day and of the hour, know it, no man. Lord of the angels of heaven, but my father only. So not even the angels know, but you want to tell me that God revealed it to you. Amen. The day, the time, and the hour. And because Christianity do not know the word of God, Come on, somebody. Yeah. 
somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. We are amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Many believers of the these men of God are led astray to hell. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Before they go, they tell the telling God, sell the gold and the silver. Or the house of the land, Jesus is coming in. Don't do that. Bring it to the church. The Lord needs it. Amen. Come on. You know how much time in history has happened to the churches? Amen. Come on, somebody. Show the world. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You see, many of us are looking for help, but we are seeking the help. Yeah. We are looking for healing. We are seeking the healer. Yeah. We are looking for the, a blessing, and we are seeking the one who is able, amen, to bless us. Amen, somebody. Yeah. We are, we are looking for a good product, but then we are not looking for the provider. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Give God some praise. Before the tribulation to be with Jesus, why would God have to send his angels to the four winds of the heaven? Amen. Come on. Amen. What happens are you speaking about the atmosphere here? Come on, somebody. Amen. If I was with God in the throne, come on, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. The Bible said heaven is God. Throne and the earth is his footstool. So if I'm there in the true room of God, come on somebody, Amen. come on somebody, Amen. I will be waiting when he appears. Amen. Come on somebody, Amen. I'll be what? Amen. He would have to send angels to gather me of the four winds of the earth, Amen. or the four winds of the heavens. Come on somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Yes. You read uh, Mark 13. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And even Matthew 13. Amen, somebody. Yes. And you will see, amen, somebody, the same power that's spoken of all and over in every chapter. Amen, somebody. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. But the Bible also speaks in the book of Thessalonians about the dead in Christ. The dead in Christ is those that will be coming to Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. The dead in Christ is those that will be coming with Him. Amen. They will be known as sons and daughters of God as well. Amen. They are coming with Him. But I who am here on the earth got to be gathered. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 They've got some praise there. So when he said, search the scriptures. What he said? For in them you shall do what? For in them you shall do what? In them you shall what? You have eternal life. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. 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 Let us take a Matthew 13 quickly. Before we begin praying, Matthew chapter 13. It's speaking about the gathering. The gathering. Matthew chapter 13, verse 37. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. And he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. 
The fear is the world. Come on. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tears are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest, the harvest, Matthew 24 is speaking about the harvest. Come on, somebody. Come on. Matthew 24, amen, somebody. Verses 31 is also speaking about the harvest. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and shall gather together his elect from the four winds. Amen. Amen, somebody. From one end of the heaven to the other. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. As therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. So he will gather the wheat at the end, and he will gather the tears at the end. Come on, somebody. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. Is that what Matthew 24 says? Verse 31. That he's going to send the what? Angels. Matthew 13 is saying the same thing. Amen, somebody. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. And they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend. And them which do iniquity and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. And there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of the Father. Who are they here? Let him hear. Amen, somebody. Come on. Glory to Jesus. Praise him. The Apostle John in the book of Revelation, he said, in the midst of the tribulation, he saw the saints on the earth. Come on, somebody. And they were like the sand of the sea. And they all were clothed in white. And they did not what? What did they do? They didn't give up what? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. They did amen, somebody. Come on. He said that they gave up their life for the testimony of Jesus. For the word of truth. Upon their foreheads were written. The word of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that time has not come yet. My question to you tonight is, what are you giving up Jesus for? Are you like Peter, who are vaccinated in the midst of tribulation? When his master was crucified. Have you gone back to your own ways, your own mindset, your own attitude, your own lifestyle? Mm. Are you deceiving yourself? Mm. Have you gone lukewarm and cold? Have you become comfortable in your houses, in your cars, with your families? Have you lost your joy and your fire for God? Come on, somebody. Because this season, in order for God to pour what He has for you, in this season, where the throne of grace is most active, 
we got to come out of our comfort zone. Yeah. We got to come out of our slumber. Yeah. We got to come out of our sleep. Yeah. We got to come out of our self. Yeah. And we got to get a hunger and a thirsting for God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I speak it to somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. We want to experience the feast of Pentecost. During this season, come on, somebody. Yeah. We want to sow and we want to reap. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, I want to sow and I want to reap. Tell your neighbor, say, if you sow nothing, you reap nothing. Tell the neighbor, say, don't tell us me. Then God has to use me. Then God has to bless me. Then God has to raise me up. It means you are not doing something that I was doing. Come on, Sapphire. Come on, Sapphire. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. For this race and not for the fast, not for the swift. But for those who do what? Amen? Amen? This Friday, we're going to have a Bible study. Amen, somebody. We're going to give her our fundraising tea time to rest. Amen, somebody. Amen. Because of what? Amen. Our fundraising is on this Saturday. Amen. Amen, somebody. On what? This Saturday. This Saturday. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The call is what a provision to you. Amen. 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 This Saturday, Amen. Let's show our support towards the building of the house of God. We are almost there. And we have come this far because of God and because of the faithful people of God. Amen, somebody. From the small to the largest. Amen, somebody. We have come this far by faith. And then God says, you what? And you walk by faith and not by sight. Tell your neighbor, say, it doesn't matter how things look. What matters is what you believe God will do. Stop looking at how things look in your life, look in your home, look in your family, look in your children. Start looking at what God says will do and start believing what God say will do and start acting upon what God say. Maybe you are acting now on what you're seeing and what you're feeling. Someone's going to try to set you up. The Lord said they already tried witchcraft. But now they're going to try to set you up. They're going to try to lie you and create a, a sort of confusion. And the Lord said to pray and fast one day for the breaking of this yoke. To destroy it as it wouldn't happen. But the devil has spread for evil, God will turn around for good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we lose and be set free. The power of God is. We're going to bring a case of water for me to bless you. We're going to get a case of water from the tower. And I'm going to keep the soil and the salt and send but I'll give some instructions on what to do with it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You've been waiting for some changes and you see it happening. But the Lord said that the enemy is trying to weaken you in your home. That the enemies around you will bring grounds. The Lord said to reconsider in this season. And then changes do not come. Then you are free to decide later on. But he said reconsider in this season that the enemy would be ground to a stronghold over your life. He said that there are many enemies against you and many hands that are dirty against your home and your family. And the Lord said to be strong and pray and seek him and know of him. That the liver also come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break every satanic struggle. Every diabolical power. We put it down. Right now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who the shall not set free. The free and new. Who the gates of hell shall not prevail. Against the church of Jesus Christ. Not by might, not by power. But by the spirit. Set the Lord of hosts. Be loose. And be shut. Fire, 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 fire,
And believe in your heart. The Bible said that he was wounded. Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions. Satan, we said, believe Jesus, the Son of God, that you were wounded for my transgressions, bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon me. And by you are stressed. I am healed. I am healed because of what Jesus has done for me on the cross. What he has done for me with his precious blood. I thank you, Lord. Praise you. In my body. Tonight. In my blood. In my heart. I mouth, every area of my body, I receive a life, I receive healing by the works of the Son of God. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go into the kidney, the blood, the food, every form of witchcraft, every form of sorcery, every form of wood, every form of necromancy, every diabolical power. Every satanic power be broken, be destroyed. I command healing of the kidneys. I command that miracle in this body. All right. Um, I was at the U Wooden Law School, studying so to become an attorney at law. And while preparing for my exam, I felt. My pores raised. And I said, Jesu, my body, what happened here? And next time, I felt a heavy blow to my head. And I began to fit all over the place. And everybody in the law school, they, they were shocked. And they held me by my both hands. And they led me out to have the plan and rush me to the hospital. At the hospital, the doctor x rayed my head, my head. And he told me, say, you get a terrible blow because all the back of my neck was in pain. Pain and dizziness right through. So, after that, I, began, I got sick. I couldn't continue my studies, but a friend invited me to study me in a Baptist feast. And while sitting on that chair, a Baptist woman came up to me and started to talk to me, but I do not know the lady. So like I did not want to hear, so I always pretended that I do not want to hear. And the leader of the Baptist came to me, he said, Mr. German, anytime you come to this kind of feast, good spirit manifests in certain people, and these people give you good, good information. So listen what the lady has to say. I said, okay. So the lady started telling me, but Mr. German, you were progressing so well in life. You were just going up and up, but you were a fall. And your fall is like when you're cutting a tree in the forest, the tree fall rapid and remain there. That is how you fall. She said, but don't worry, is a woman you lend your money and hit your spirit blow. And then they call for oil, olive oil, and they anoint my head and my feet and everything like this. After they do all that, you still didn't recover. It was still there. I'm not hearing problem. I'm not hearing problem. Yeah, yeah. Headaches. And headaches. Yeah. And tonight Jesus has healed you. Yes. Give it to Jesus. Uh, okay, you just know that. Yeah. So when their life completely to Jesus, get baptized. Yeah. That, that only will continually be broken and will fall upon any of your lost ones. Yeah. Alright, to put on me for baptism and that you can understand who Jesus really is. Amen? Give us some praise tonight.